Stoichiometry. Maybe it's the name that scares students. What is stoichiometry? Stoichiometry examines the relationship between substances in a reaction. How can we understand it in real world terms? Let's imagine that we make pasta and have a mean boss. One day a bag of flour seems spoiled. Yay, we get the day off, right? Nope, our boss tells us to make the pasta anyway or she'll can us. We only have two cups of flour and we need to use every bit. But how many eggs is that? What is the equivalent of eggs in cups? That doesn't make sense. One thing we can do is to get them in the same terms. Let's convert a cup of flour and an egg into weight, into grams. Like how much does a cup of flour weigh? How much does an egg weigh? Let's make that into an equivalent of our recipe. Our recipe is a balanced formula. Stoichiometry step one is done. The flour we have to use is our given. It's two cups. What does two cups of flour weigh? Okay, we now have the total weight of our given. Step two is done. Step three, we're going to take our grams of flour and see how many grams of eggs is needed. In order to do this, we need the ratio found in the original recipe. I will set the ratio up so the flour is on the bottom and cancels out. That is our result for step three, 114 grams of eggs, but that's not entirely helpful. What is 114 grams of eggs in terms of whole eggs? Step four, we're gonna convert our grams to whole eggs. We have about two and a quarter eggs for this recipe using two cups of flour. Our problem is finished. We've examined the relationship between substances in a reaction, just like stoichiometry. In chemical terms, the reactants are just ingredients you aren't familiar with, and the product doesn't make as much sense to you now as pasta does.